Hello, this is Linda Schneider, owner of LRS Gallery in Rockville Center, New York. And today we have the fine art of sale and exhibition of Luis Carlos Velasquez. We are extremely excited and honored to have such a fine artist in our gallery. And now we would like to give you a brief tour of his magnificent work. First we have his abstracts. His abstract here is called Cascade and as the name of the painting sort of gives you that feel as you look at the abstract it draws you in as you would bathe underneath a Cascade waterfall. And here he uses mixed media with oils and acrylics to create this magnificent piece. Lewis has sold some of Cascade already as originals where he created not just one, but he created a series of three, 10 by 10s, and he has sold those and they are magnificent. And as you see, this is a smaller version of his larger piece. Up here we have Crossroads. Crossroads is another abstract that Lewis created while he was looking at the L train, which is in New York, very uh, popular and a symbol of New York because so many people do take the train into Manhattan to and fro and this is his creation. What I love about this is how he creates his own color and as you see yes it could remind you of that rust but it is such an intriguing color. As we talk about color you can see with his P's flexibility his versatility going from a color that he's created to represent rust to a magnificent arrangement of blues and reds and, and yet some orange. But I'm saying these primary colors and I'm using colors just saying it but with that black behind it, it really pops out at you. And again, the abstract just takes you in and creates for you in your mind whatever you would like. And here Balance, this is the name of this piece, is a simpler version of flexibility and yet it just gives you that warmth from the colors but also that feel that I feel good, I'm in balance. And here we have a very um, inspiring piece actually. This is an award-winning piece uh, from a, uh, a show that he was honored and Eagle's Thought is the name of this piece and again Lewis uh, uses his abstract and now we're starting to see a little bit of a surrealistic style that he encompasses in his work. Again we have another abstract this is called Weep Grass a little different color palette but again takes you right in. As we move forward, uh, what I love about these pieces is Lewis only uh, works abstracts, yes, but he doesn't only work abstracts. He works animals and figures and where abstracts bring you in, these animals and figures make you know nature. And Lewis wanted to portray to the human race, the, the vulnerability, and, and how yet the female will protect and, and draw into uh, this, this natural way to protect us while we're, we're on this plane. And Lewis, when you talk to Lewis and speak with him about what's behind his art, you get a sense that he lived in another time. And that's what I feel comes out in these various paintings that we have here. So this painting is called uh, Lion of Egypt and again it's brought us to that time back in back in the frame of uh, where not only do you have the pyramids and Egypt but you also have the animal and as we said this piece which is called Vigilant Unity she's actually protecting, like we were saying, the nature and, and natural order of things. Over here we're finishing with two women 
uh, that, again, the female form is very powerful, natural. Again, we have uh, this piece where the blue is illuminating. Uh, this, the green, illuminates. And we really are taken in by the female form here. Okay. Stalking Tiger is this piece right here that is the artist's favorite piece, and you can see why. It's just a magnificent representation of the animal kingdom. And now I would like to introduce you to Lewis's latest piece right here, and it's untitled as of now. And it's just a magnificent piece and an important piece because this is Lewis's next journey. His next journey is in oils. And again, it's a creation and a tribute to not only humanity now, but humanity then.